using Oxygeny on the SLE 6000. When equipped with Oxygeny and SpO2 monitoring, the SLE 6000 enables precise, closed loop inspired oxygen control and delivery to the patient in order to maintain their SpO2 measurement in a user selected target range. This ensures that the patient receives an optimized oxygen level and minimizes the risks associated with extended hyperoxemia and hypoxemia. The Oxygeny system controls the inspired oxygen concentration to keep the SpO2 of the patient within a predefined range. It can be used in any mode of ventilation, including HFO, conventional, and non invasive ventilation. To use Oxygeny, first connect the SpO2 cable to the SpO2 port on the rear of the SLE 6000. Then connect the appropriate patient sensor to the end of the cable. Then connect the sensor to the patient to establish SpO2 monitoring. The SpO2 reading will be displayed in the monitored values panel. At this point, the SpO2 waveform display can be turned on by going to the Layout button, selecting Waveform, then Edit, and then turning on the SpO2 waveform. Confirm this and close the layout panel. The user will now see a plethysmograph waveform on the screen, plus SIQ or signal indicator quality and pulse rate values displayed. To configure the system in preparation for Oxygeny, select Utilities, then select SpO2. The user can then choose to edit the SpO2 mode and can manually select one of four target SpO2 ranges. That is 90 to 94%, 91 to 95%, 92 to 96%, and 94 to 98%, the default being 91 to 95%. Note that the averaging time is fixed at 2 to 4 seconds when Oxygeny is on. This menu is also used as part of the standard SpO2 setup. Please see SLE's SpO2 video for more information. Before activating Oxygeny on the SLE 6000, the user can also select a custom SpO2 display by pressing the Layout button and then selecting SpO2. This configured SpO2 screen is designed for use with Oxygeny and is only available when SpO2 is on. The SpO2 screen can be edited. Selecting Edit, the user can select a real-time ventilator waveform to display pressure, flow, or volume, and also the fast trend window time, 10, 30, 60, or 120 minutes. Oxygeny Stage 1, turning on Oxygeny. When SpO2 monitoring is established, the user should manually adjust or titrate the O2 delivered to the patient by using the O2 parameter and the plus and minus controls. Monitor in steps until the patient's measured SpO2 is in the desired target range. Once a stable SpO2 reading is achieved, the user can then activate Oxygeny by pushing and holding the O2 control until an extra button appears above the O2 control. The user should then press this button to turn Oxygeny on and press Confirm to activate the mode. Oxygeny Stage 2 Adjusting Oxygeny The custom SpO2 screen displays four waveforms 1. The user selected ventilation waveform, 2. The current SpO2 plethysmograph waveform with SIQ and pulse rate, 3, a fast trend of the SpO2 value, and a band showing the current target SpO2 range, 4, a fast trend of the current O2 value, with a reference O2 value as a dotted line. The reference O2 value is updated every 30 minutes and is based on the last 60 minute average. Oxygeny displays auto plus the current delivered O2 value, which is updated every second. Please note, you may see a delay between the real-time set O2 value and the monitored values as the reading stabilizes. 
the user will be advised on screen if the SpO2 signal is lost. Oxygeny will display in blue, waiting for signal, and remain at the current O2 value for the first 60 seconds. After this point, if the SpO2 was within target range, it will continue at the current O2 level. If the SpO2 was above the target range and O2 more than 10%, it will slowly decrease to the reference value. If the SpO2 was below the target range and the O2 was more than 5% below the reference O2, it will slowly increase to the reference level. Once a valid SpO2 signal is restored, Oxygeny will return to adjusting the O2 to keep the SpO2 in the target range. When first enabled, Oxygeny has default high and low SpO2 alarm limits. These are enabled respectively at 1% above the high limit and 1% below the low limit of the target range. The user can choose to override these values and enter their own alarm values in the alarm panel. At any time, the user can manually press the O2 control to override Oxygeny and set a manual O2 value, which counts down for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, Oxygeny's automatic mode is re-established. If the O2 value needed to maintain a target SpO2 rises more than 40% above the reference O2 at any point, it is recommended to disable and then re-enable Oxygeny to set a new reference O2, reflecting the patient's new status. To turn off Oxygeny, press and hold the O2 control. An option appears above. Press to select this, and then press tick to confirm. Oxygeny will turn off, and the O2 level will be restored to the last reference O2 level. Users should then manually adjust this level as required. Once oxygenation is stabilized, Oxygeny can be recommenced, and a new appropriate reference value will be set. Summary bullet points Effective automatic oxygen control. The Oxygeny algorithm is a closed loop, proportional integrated derivative, or PID, controller, and continuously adjusts the O2 value to the patient, reducing periods of hypoxemia and hyperoxemia. Oxygeny can reduce the number of staff interventions, freeing them up to manage the patient. Oxygeny works in all modes, including invasive and non-invasive ventilation.